Hi there, this is Rachel from STEM Scopes, and I want to take a few minutes to show you how to integrate our curriculum resources with Google Classroom. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take a resource directly from STEM Scopes and then put it on Google Classroom. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I think is going to be really helpful when assigning things to your students. So first thing is, um, here's my Google Classroom, my sample STEM Scopes, and then I'm going to post an assignment here. So the directions I've written are, please read over the claim evidence reasoning scenario and the rubric, and then complete the claim evidence reasoning assessment on the Google document. So I am going to attach two things here. I'm going to attach the claim evidence reasoning resource from STEM Scopes, and then I'm going to attach a Google document that is a template for students to complete the assignment. So I'm going to come over to STEM Scopes here, and I'm in a, an example scope, and I'm on the evaluate tab. I'm going to go to claim evidence reasoning, and I'm already on it here. And I'm going to look over at my print file. So the student handout is a PDF, and then I also have Google Doc files. Uh, for my purposes today, I'm actually going to use the PDF. And so I'm going to go ahead and click it. And when you click it, it will show it to you. And here's what it looks like. So there is a scenario and then also a rubric. And so that's what it looks like. If I click the Google Doc, this is a Google Slides document here, and it's going to copy it right into my drive. And it looks exactly the same, but this one just pops right into your drive, whereas the PDF will open up like this, but it's a little bit easier to use the Google Slides. So now I'm going to come back over to my Google Classroom here. So in the Google Slides documents, I am not going to have my students fill this out in the slides. But what I do want them to do is I want them to be able to read the scenario and then be prepared to start the claim evidence reasoning and then also be familiar with the rubric. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to attach that same Google Slides document and it dropped it right into my drive. So I'm going to click add. Okay, and then because I don't want students to answer it right on the Google Slides, I'm going to come back over here for just a second and I'm actually going to copy the prompt area and then I'm going to come over to my blank Google document that I just called claim evidence reasoning template and then I'm going to paste it and this is the document that I am going to have students actually do the assignment on. So now I'm going to come back over here and I want to attach something else and here's my claim evidence reasoning template and and cool thing about Google Classroom is you can schedule it or save it as a draft. I'm gonna go ahead and post it. And here's what it looks like for students. So they would click it and it would open up just like that. Same thing with our slideshow. So this concludes my tutorial of how to put documents onto Google Classroom. Thanks so much.